All right, my friend, we just finished reviewing Heineken Zero Zero. Mm. And I have to say, there's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of intrigue around non-alcoholic beers. Is it wizardry? <laughs> Is it magic? Is it beer magic? I don't know. I frankly do not know anything about this. I'm turning to you, my finely bearded friend, to let me know what is non-alcoholic beer? How do they make it? How do they? How does this come to be in the beer world? <laughs> well, that's a. It is a kind of wizardry, in my opinion. If you, if you ask me, I think so too. Well, it's definitely wizardry. It's it's beer, so there's got to be wizardry. There's no way around mm. that. <laughs> there's always a background of wizardry <laughs> with beer. There is. No matter what. There is. There is. You know, when it comes to non-alcoholic beers, like there's different ways that they can be produced. Like there's a more traditional way that doesn't produce necessarily fully non-alcoholic beer like this one at 0.0 not necessarily at least uh, but it's the most like let's call it more natural way in the sense that the type of yeast and the amount of yeast that is used is controlled in a way so that the alcohol produced at the end is results like in a very low level so like under 0. 0.5 exactly or, yeah. exactly yeah. so that's that's one one way the other two ways that involve like more complicated processes that become like more costly and consequently also more difficult for smaller breweries to tackle involve like machinery that you know also and, and more control environments uh, and uh, they are specifically the temperature or distillation the boiling point of uh, alcohol is lower than the one of water so consequently if you heat the beer at a certain temperature you'll be able to extrapolate the alcohol without having the water leaving it so but obviously okay. the problem with that method is that any sort of distillation of sort like is going to strip some other components so it's very difficult to control what uh, will leave so like uh, even keeping it into a vacuum will strip some of the elements out of it so yeah another option that has become like more of a uh, uh, present uh, in in the recent years is a sort of f filtration uh, which a very specific types of filter that kind of like Again, like same same kind of problem with different type of elements that like filter out certain mo molecules, like and consequently the alcohol ones are filtered out. Again, there's always the uh, you know the question of like is something else being stripped out, like some of those uh, ethereal components that we know the wizards like to play yeah. with, right? <laughs> So it's it's a little bit of a compromise, if you ask me. Like it's a it's more of a matter matter of deciding what direction the wizard wants to take, and you know, obviously something needs to be sacrificed in order to leave uh, some of the alcohol out of the equation. You know what? That makes so much sense, and this is why I love inside the brackets because we always try a beer, review a beer. And then we have these beautiful educational segments where we learn a little bit more about the beer. But it always, I connect the beer dots in my mind, my friend. And because we just reviewed the Heineken Zero Zero, um, now I can really place it where, and, and having tried a couple of different non-alcoholic beers over the years, I think there is like a very distinct lack of yeast. And you know, like that smell, if you've ever made bread or ever made dough for something, you know, when you mix in the yeast and you mm. activate the water and the and the flour, there's a very distinct bready aroma that comes off the yeast. And there's a strong flavor that comes off that as well. Um, so I think that makes perfect sense when you're saying like one of the methods is just simply to use the right amount of yeast to achieve that 0 0.05 or less alcohol percentage within the beer. If they are going with that method, then there's going to be a very much different flavor to it because that yeast component is not going to be adding all these different uh, tastes into the beer. And hence, it's going to be removing some of the aroma as well. So what you're left with is really, and if you, in the Heineken Zero Zero review, I was saying it's very like, almost like, you know, like raw barley, like a barley stew, because I guess you don't have the yeast to counteract that and add like a different level of breadiness to it. So it all makes sense. It's all coming together. <laughs> well, the beer dots. There you go. So, yeah. Connecting these beer dots. 